Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So we're a couple working days into 2018 now, and I mentioned in my last video that I think 2018 is gonna be a remarkable year, and I'm telling you, we're a couple days in, and there's something in the air, right? There's something happening, something special that's going on right now where you're seeing agents that really wanna work, that have strong goals, they're up, they're ready to go, they're making changes right now. They're not waiting. Now, the agents that are waiting are still slacking off and over that holiday mode, I'm telling you, you guys are gonna struggle this year. You're gonna struggle, all right? I'm just, I'm getting right to it. The agents that are gonna succeed this year are the agents that are up and working. You're gonna have to work to actually get some deals this year. It's just the way it is. But there's agents that are up and working right now and I am impressed. I'm telling you, there's something in the air right now and there's plenty of buyers and plenty of sellers out there. Already a couple days into the year, we've got escrows being opened, listings being taken. It's gonna be a remarkable year for those that are putting in the effort, all right? So we talked about last video about resolutions. Some of you might be doing that already. Go back and watch my last video about not making resolutions, make commitments, okay? I talked a little bit about that, so make sure you're following that category, okay? But what I wanna talk about today, I'm not gonna go over hey, these are the three things you really gotta focus on that are the norm, right? Hey, make sure you're prospecting more, make sure you're doing lead follow-up and previewing property and tracking your business and, you know, we've covered those things, you know those things, you're gonna hear about that all the time, especially this time of year, so you know that. I'm not gonna cover those, okay? I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do three things that aren't gonna be on everyone's to-do list, on everyone's resolution or commitment list for 2018. But I'm telling you, if you can follow these three things and get them started now, create the habit of doing these things now, it's going to have a major impact on your year, okay? So it's, again, not your normal stuff, but things that can have a major impact on your year. So let, let's just jump right into it, okay? Three things for 2018, all right? So the first thing is this. Make your mornings easier, okay? Now, the morning is the most important part of your day. It just is. So you have to make them easier, all right? So here, here's what I put down. You only have a certain amount of good thoughts in a day, right? That's just the reality of it. You only have a certain amount of good thoughts in a day. Don't waste them. Use those good thoughts when it's money-making time. Don't waste the good thoughts, you know, while you're getting ready, okay? Waste them, or I'm sorry, don't waste them. Use them when it's money-making time, okay? Use those good thoughts then. So chaos in this business is going to happen automatically. Look, you've been in real estate long enough. Chaos happens. That's just going to happen. You're going to get off track. Don't make chaos in the morning, right? Let the chaos happen automatically. Don't create the own chaos. So here's what I put down here for a couple things. The night before, get everything ready for the next day, okay? Now here's what I'm talking about. So for guys, you know, like for me, what suit am I wearing? I know what suit I'm wearing. I know what shirt I'm wearing with the suit. I know what tie is gonna go with it. I know what belt I'm gonna wear. I know what shoes are gonna go with it. I know that entire, and entire attire, sorry, the night before, okay? I know what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I know what I'm gonna have for lunch if I'm bringing in my lunch. I know all that stuff planned out the night before. So when I get up, I'm not thinking about, oh, what suit do I wear? What do I match this with? Okay, I'm using good thoughts. I'm already wasting good thoughts on what I'm gonna wear, how I'm gonna look, what lunch should I bring, what am I gonna have for breakfast? That's all done the night before. But here's the other thing. The night before, I wrote this down. Write down all your tasks for the next day, okay? So the night before, take five, 10 minutes, doesn't have to be a lot of time, and just write out your task for the next day. So when you get up, you already know what you're going to accomplish. You're not trying to figure out what do I do now, what am I gonna, you know, what do I have to complete? You already know. Write them out, you already know your task for day, but prioritize the task as well. Because let's be honest, we're going to have tasks that are important than others, right? So make sure that you have the task prioritized that this is my most important down to what's the least important because you might not get them all done that day. That's just the reality of it is, but you have to get the most important one done. So not only write them out, but prioritize them, all right? So the night before is huge. Make your mornings easier. Now, the other thing I wrote down here, since your energy and motivation is typically highest in the morning, 
that's when you should do your most important and hardest task. Okay? In the morning, typically, that's when you have the highest motivation, you have the highest energy. So tackle your hardest and most important task right there because at 2 o'clock, if you do all your easy tasks in the morning at 2 o'clock, your energy level goes from here to here, and now your task is the important ones. There's too big of a gap. Right, So it's either not going to get done, which is no good, or it's going to get done, but at a half-ass effort, which is no good either. Okay, So don't do the weak stuff first. Don't do the easy stuff first. Do the hardest and the most important task first because that's when you have your most energy. That's when you have your most motivation. Tackle that head on. Right, That's what you have to do. So, But that has to be planned out the night before. Just has to be planned out the night before. Make your mornings easier. If you can get off to a really fresh, positive start, it's going to impact you the entire day. I mean, think about this. If you don't have a good morning to start, how can you have a good night to end? Right? So it's all about the mornings, but you have to make it easier the night before. So work on that. I'm telling you, it's going to make a big difference. All right? So that's number one. Number two is this. Have a mapped out plan for every day. Don't just have a mapped out plan for the year. This is my goals. This is how many days I want to work. This is how many prospecting hours I'm going to do. Every single day has to be mapped out. Okay, and I wrote a couple things down here. Long-term goals are impossible without daily goals. Okay, you, everyone writes their long-term goals, their yearly goal. You have to map out every single day. That daily goal is what's ultimately going to accomplish that long-term goal. So you have to map it out. Okay. And if you don't have it mapped out, you wake up, you don't really know where you're going. Now, not knowing where you're going might be great on a road trip, right? It's not really good for your real estate career. Every single day has to be mapped out. It has to be time blocked. I'm going to be prospecting from these hours to this hour. Not just prospecting, but I already know who I'm prospecting, where I'm prospecting, how I'm prospecting. Okay, I'm doing lunch from this time. I know again where I'm having for lunch, my after lunch. This is what I'm doing. Everything's mapped out with your task, your goals, your schedule, every single day has to do that, right? Again, don't create additional chaos. There's already gonna be chaos in this business. Or another way I put it, there's already gonna be opportunities to go off-roading in this business, okay? Something's gonna happen. You're gonna get a call, there's gonna be a fire you gotta put out, there's gonna be something going on that's gonna drive you away from your daily task. That's gonna happen automatically. Don't start your day off-roading, okay? Don't start your day out there. Start your day on the road, right and then let all the other things happen that's going to have to take you off-roading but then get right back on the road okay but you can't start off-road you got to stay on the path right so every day has to be map mapped out and you know when you're time blocking don't try to fit things inside the box if you have a box blocked off for time blocking okay and something comes up don't try to fit it inside the box that's already filled there's other boxes throughout the time. So, if, for example, if you have time blocked from 9 to 12, let's say that's when you're doing your prospecting, someone says, hey, can you do the appraisal at 11? Well, no, I, but my box is filled, okay? I have an open box at 1. Can we do it at 1? Great. Move it there. Don't try to fit things inside the box. That's when you're going to create your own chaos. That's when you start going off-roading. Stick to it, okay? Map it out. Stick to it. Don't try to fit things inside the box, all right? And also make public. Make your daily goals, your daily tasks public so people can see it and hold you accountable. You know, John Maxwell once said, goals that are not made public are useless. Okay, so make them public. All right, so that, that's the second thing. Have a mapped out plan for every day. The third thing is you have to build your database. More so than ever, more business is coming from past clients and centers of influence. Okay, it used to be maybe 40, 50%. Now we're looking at maybe 65, 70 on average. All right, so you have to build your database. So a couple things to do that, right? Every single person you talk to, whether it be on a just listed, a just sold, whether it be door knocking, expires for sale by owners, for a friend, let's say that they don't want to meet you for an appointment. That's fine. Ask them, do you mind if I contact you every two months to give you an update on the market? Okay. Imagine if just one person a week said yes. Let's say you talk to 50 people for the week, 100 people for the week. Imagine just one person said, yeah, go ahead. That's 40 to 50 people you're going to add to your database for the year. Now, even if some of them fall off because they just said that, that said yes to be nice, you're still going to have 25, 30 people added to your database every year that when you call them every two months, hey, you know, just want to let you know what's going on. I don't know if you knew this, but in your area of Long Beach, 300 homes closed escrow last month, 200 sold for list price and above. We know when that happens, five or six other homes right away. So I was wondering, who do you know? Friends, family, coworkers might be looking to take advantage of the market. 
okay? Now you took something that was nothing, okay? It was here, and you slowly turned it into every call that you're now their agent. You're their preferred agent because you're giving them market updates. So if they know somebody, oh yeah, Robert calls me all the time, you know, let me refer you over to him. Or eventually you keep giving them the market stats, they might go, man, maybe we need to sit down and talk about our property, okay? But you have to build that database. Every single person you talk to, you have to ask that question, okay? Write that out and put it on your desk so to create the habit of doing that, okay? The other thing is, if somebody shows a little interest in buying or selling, get a face-to-face -face meeting, okay? Now, if they don't have any interest, if they're just, ah, don't give me the value, that's not important, but they're like, well, we're thinking about it, but we're not sure, rather than just say, well, you know, I'll follow up in a couple months or something along those lines, get the face-to-face -face meeting, get it now for a couple reasons. One, you're never going to convert them over the phone. Okay, if, they're, if you're going to convert them to buy or sell a property, it's going to be face-to-face. -face. So that's number one. Number two is you've at least now given yourself a chance to build a relationship. So when they do decide to buy or sell, let's say they don't do it right then and there, you're already a leg up on the competition. And two, you now get to put them in your database because you've had that meeting, you've built that relationship, they know about you, they know what you do. So now every couple months you're calling them. So now you're building that referral network and every time you call, they keep hearing these numbers you're talking about, they're eventually gonna pull the trigger faster, okay? So if they have the slightest interest, don't just, okay, I'll call you, you know, try again in a couple months, you know, or something along those lines. No, okay, hey, let's get together, 15 minutes, there's no obligation, doesn't cost you anything, just to go over your options. Get that face-to-face -face meeting. You have to get that face-to-face -face meeting. You have to get in more doors, right? So if they have the slightest interest, don't push it off, get that meeting, you either get the closing there, or worst case scenario, you build up your database to get referrals, and get more business from them, okay? Now, the other thing is this, social media. Okay, so we all have these social media accounts, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and look, let's be honest, you have friends or contacts or whatever the term is for that particular platform that you don't know who they are. Or maybe you know a little bit, but they're not really someone that's in your database. So how about this, convert them to something. Reach out to every single person in your social media database and ask them, hey, do you mind if I contact you directly every couple months to give you an update on the market? Okay, not just, hey, I'm just posting stuff because it gets lost in the thousands and thousands of other posts. I want to contact you directly to say, hey, this is what's going on in the market. This may home sold. You know, the whole script I just did. Build something out of that. Use them for something other than just crap that they're posting, right? Get something out of it. Now, if you're a real estate agent, don't do that to other real estate agents. They're not going to refer you any business, <laughs> probably, probably, okay? But other people that are real estate agents, do that. Now, you might have a couple hundred people that are in there that aren't real estate agents. You do that. Let's say you add 40 to 50 people that say yes. You've had 40 to 50 people to your database. That's another four or five deals a year just by doing that. So use your social media for something, okay? So those three things, again, Keep prospecting, keep previewing, all that other stuff. But those are things. Make your mornings easier, have a mapped out plan for every day, and build your database. If you can do those three things, focus on those three. I'm telling you, it's going to have a major impact on your 2018 and going forward. Okay? So you have to focus on it, but create the discipline. Do those every single day, every single time until it becomes a habit. And then keep reminding yourself to keep doing it again because if you don't, it'll come off habit, right? So look, it, keep going, keep doing it, focus on those three things, all right? That's your three things Thursday for the week. Please subscribe to my channel so you get all my videos usually a couple a week. Hope you have a great week and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.